Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. You might use a trackpad to edit, you might use a mouse, but have you ever thought about using your fingers? This is multi-touch editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. You can control Premiere Pro through multi-touch and it helps to augment a keyboard-driven workflow. Now, I doubt anyone's gonna get rid of their keyboard and use their fingers, you could, but it's a good idea to balance the two. Um, a lot of times you will use keyboard shortcuts, but sometimes you can just reach right out and touch Premiere Pro. Let's go have a look. So some operations will use one finger, some will use two fingers, depending on what you're doing. Let me show you first working with thumbnails. I'll open up a bin just so we can see thumbnails. And of course you can zoom down here with this control, but you can also take two fingers and scroll in opposite directions and change the overall view. When you tap on a thumbnail, you'll get these five controllers showing up. The middle one is the play button, and when you tap that, it plays, and when you tap it again, it will stop. If you tap it and hold with one finger, you can scroll through. There's also a single frame play, and if you tap and play, these turn into uh, forward and backward speed controls, and you can think of this as JKL keys, so I can go backwards and I can forward, go forwards. You can select another clip. You can scroll in this same window. So even though it is zoomed in, you can scroll in that window. You can also scroll with two fingers, scrub the video with two fingers. You can set in and out points and you can see those in and out points down here. And now I've got an in and out point Double tapping on any one of these is going to load it in the source monitor. So I'm going to take this clip and we'll set an in and out point. So that'll be our in point. You can see the blue line a little bit. I'll hit play. And tap another out point. Double tap this, close it. And now I've got this in my regular source monitor so I can play it and you can easily see the in and out points. So that's working with clips. Of course, you can uh, scroll in this same window with two fingers. Oh, by the way, all the video clips in this tutorial were provided by Adobe Stock, the premier supplier of stock images, video, motion graphics, templates, illustrations, and 3D objects. Find the perfect asset for your next creative project. Now the timeline, you can also zoom. So if I'm using two fingers here, I can zoom. And while I'm still holding those two fingers, I can scrub through that timeline. scroll through. You might want to turn on the snap playhead when snap is engaged, just to make it easier to, to move the playhead to the beginning of clips. In the edit menu in Windows, in the Premiere Pro menu on the Mac, in the timeline preferences, snap playhead in timeline when snap is enabled. So when you have snap, enabled, then it will snap in those points and that will allow us to do some editing. So for instance, I'm going to move to this point, hit an in point, move to there and hit an out point. Now I have to admit, you've got to be pretty precise with your fingers. So my fingers aren't that big, they're not that small, they're average. So I found that at times maybe I was trying to touch the in, point and the out point got touched because they're pretty close together. But of course, in Windows, you can change the magnification of the interface. So you might want to consider doing that. And now I can use the lift or extract commands. 
So the lift command is going to leave a hole in there and I could place this clip in there. Let me undo that. I could use the extract command. I've got a full tutorial on that and drag and drop that in here. So let's do that. I'll leave that, that place where it is and we'll drag. Now we can drag this clip directly into the timeline if we want and it's gonna overlay it on that clip or we can use drop zones. I've got a whole tutorial on working with drop zones. So if I drag this clip over to here, I can choose to insert it and that will push everything down. I can overlay it and that's gonna place the clip in the top and I can move this clip anywhere I want. I can insert it before, so it's going to push it down, just like inserting it. Insert after. And we can even replace, so I'll take this clip, drag over and replace that clip. And you'll see that we've got our trim. We need to trim this back right here. So I could move this to here. And remember, this is meant to augment um, a keyboard workflow. So I just use the E key, but I can ripple delete that and get that and zoom in and zoom out and hit play. You can also, let me just undo some of these, get back. I could also use this, I could take a clip that's in the timeline and I could drag that to the drop zone and I could insert this before if I want. Now it's the same clip inserted before, or let me clear my in and out points. If I wanted to swap these two clips, then I'll move my playhead to the beginning of this clip and I'll hold the control key on Windows Command on Mac and drag this back and this will be a replace edit and it's gonna flip those two back. And there you go. Multi-touch editing directly inside Adobe Premiere Pro. Use as much or as little of it as you want. Maybe just use it for scrubbing, gestures, and of course, use it with keyboard shortcuts. If you're new to Video Reveal and you have found this informer, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, you can do that through PayPal. We love our PayPal supporters. You guys are great. Uh, so you can use a one-time or monthly donation. There's a link in the description, one on the front of the page. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to keep you informed with the things you might be missing, like editing with your fingers.